Hello, hello, it's me, Markel's World, all things professional wrestling in my life. This was your main event. This was your main event of WrestleMania. And it was predictable that WWE did not listen to their fans. So they did not listen to their fans. Roman Reigns has defeated Brock Lesnar. That is correct. Roman Reigns has defeated Brock Lesnar. The match, I would give it a three out of five. It was very predictable. I don't think it was very that long. I would say it was about 15 minutes. Well, it seemed like 15 minutes. It didn't seem long at all. The spear out of the blue, it didn't even seem powerful. The impact didn't seem devastating at all. I really thought that Brock Lesnar was going to kick out, but he did not. You know, I was waiting for the rock to come out i was saying oh that was a shitty finish that finish right there was very shitty maybe they're saving it for the rock to come so maybe the rock will come at the end and they want to have this shit done by 12 o'clock but they want to have it done by midnight but the rock didn't come either so i was like well, that was just a shitty ending the Usos came out with um, Roman Reigns, but somehow they disappeared like magic. I don't I don't remember them leaving, nor did I see them ringside. So I don't know if they left by the barricade and they sat with the fans. I'm not sure exactly where they went. Um, Brock Lesnar, I, you know, he, you know, this, you know, I will say this. Both of them, they're okay wrestlers, but both of them are very limited all Roman Reigns does is the spear and the punch, and all Brock Lesnar does is the German suplex and the F5. So they don't have a lot of, they don't have a big arsenal. They don't have a lot of moves. None of them do, you know, none of them pulled out some new maneuvers in this match. You know, they don't do no moves in the corner. They don't do no high-flying moves. They don't do no regular suplexes. I mean, they don't do a lot of power bombs. All they do is the same moves over and over again in a couple of close lines. So Roman Reigns, I I would say congratulations to him, but you know, we're going to see him again next to WrestleMania. This is going to be the next main event, next WrestleMania, maybe him versus the Rock. Uh, you know, that could be the big thing or they might have a returning legend. Don't be surprised if Hulk Hogan comes back for a match. I mean, they, they are desperate like that, WWE. They like to bring back the old-timers, so I wouldn't be surprised if Hulk Hogan came back for a match. But um, very predictable and sad. Paul Heyman, he really doesn't even have an explanation why he betrayed Brock Lesnar. You would think his loyalty would be with him. So the storyline really made no sense why Paul Heyman betrayed Brock Lesnar. There is no storytelling at all. But this is your new champion, your new um, undisputed champion. He is holding both titles, Roman Reigns, Yawn, Yawn, Yawn. This is Markel's World, all things professional wrestling. If you have not, subscribe and give me your thoughts. This is some bullshit. Bye.